Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to update your Nexus 6P from the NPD 56N build of Android, Android N, to the, I think it was the NPD 90G, which is of course is the fifth developer preview and the one before our, you know, prime time showcase of Android Nougat 7.0. So things are getting exciting at the moment. So this time we'll be seeing final APIs and I forgot all the rest, SDKs and all that stuff, which is great. So today I'll be showing you how to update a rooted one. So as you can see here, I have SuperSU and it works and all that. You can, if you're not already rooted, you can follow another tutorial I have uh, on my channel that does it through uh, CF Auto Root, another thing by Chainfire, which is excellent. And speaking of Chainfire, we're gonna be using Flashfire to update our device to MPD 90G build of Android. And so yeah, let's get started. So of course you're gonna need Flashfire installed and of course you'd need to be rooted as well. So I've already installed it here. And of course, you also need to download the factory image that you'll need here, which is just available on the developer.android.com website. I'll have that as a link in the more info. And all we need to do is click on this for the Nexus 6P. Did I click that right? Nope, wrong one. Nexus 6P here. Just click on that, check that you've read and agree those terms, and click on this download blue download button. And once you've downloaded that, you can see I have a nice variety of stock images here. The one that's highlighted currently, all you need to do is copy it to your phone. So of course you're going to need to go to your phone and make sure the USB is set to transfer files. And you're gonna see it on your computer. And what you're gonna do is open it and just copy it to the root directory or copy it to your device anywhere that you'd like. I just recommend dragging and dropping just like that, just in. Uh, so I've already copied this from before when I tried to record and I forgot I didn't plug in my mic. So that was embarrassing. Anyway, once you've done copying it to device, to your phone, we're gonna head back to our phone. We're gonna open up Flashfire and we're gonna start the process. Now this, this thing is really great. I mean, you could download the factory image on your phone using ADM. I think it's either Android or Advanced Download Manager and that can split it up into parts and download it really quickly and all that. So what we need to do here is press plus we're gonna tap on flash firmware package. And of course, we're going to select our TGZ file here, the 90G. And that's gonna scan the archive for all the necessary files, such as our radio image, our bootloader image, and our image uh, zip file. Within that image zip file, we also have things like the vendor, the boot, the cache, recovery, uh, user data, I'm missing a big one, ah yes, and the system. System images, they're all on there. So this doesn't take too long. As you can see, we're almost done. And afterwards, we're gonna change a few things to ensure that we kept root. And of course, we don't wipe our data or get rid of things that we don't want to get rid of. So here we have these. So these are the petitions that uh, you can flash. You can see these are protected. Um, I've never tried flashing the bootloader with Flashfire, and I wouldn't actually ever do that. So anyway, we're gonna make sure boot is checked. I have TWRP installed, but if you don't, if you didn't flash TWRP on it or use it to root your device on Android N, you can leave that checked. But for me, I'm going to uncheck that because I want to keep TWRP. We're going to update the system. We're going to update the vendor image. We're not going to touch the data. That one will, if you check that, that'll wipe everything. And uh, we'll just flash the cache. And you can see down here we have the modem firmware, which I believe is a radio. You will actually have to go into the settings of Flashfire and allow it to flash protected partitions. So you can do that by swiping in, go into settings, and then I think it was flash bootloader. Oh well, I'm not too sure. Anyway, back to our program here. You can see, we we'll just scroll down and you can see that the Everroot is checked there. And you're gonna definitely wanna make sure that that's there. You can tap on it to change, make changes. So, yeah, it's also set to preserve the recovery down here. So when your phone boots up with its new boot image, it won't try to replace our modified recovery, TWRP, with a stock recovery. 
And since those options look fine, we're going to press that little lightning bolt down there on the left hand side. Oops. Well, maybe not lightning bolt, but we can tap on flash and it will do its magic. So your phone will kind of reboot and all that. And of course you can add your own zip files there I believe if you were doing this on Marshmallow for example and you wanted to use exposed or flash that back on, uh, you can definitely do that. So it's just loading its libraries and we're going to see a progress bar come up soon. I know you can't see that very well, it's uh, overexposed. Oh, this room is pretty dark and the camera can't pick up that stuff well. Okay, that looks much better, so yeah, I should have turned on the light anyway. It still might be a little bit blurry, but here's what it's doing. Right now it's updating the system by flashing the image onto it. I think it's just transferring block by block. I think that's how they do it. Over to the partition, and you can see it's got about a minute left. So generally this thing takes about two minutes because the system image is by far the largest one and takes the most time. So yeah, this, this process shouldn't take that long. You can see how far. So that one is current image, the top bar, and the bottom one is overall progress. So once that is done, we're pretty much at the end anyway. And I'll just leave it so you can see what's happening. Here we have the vendor image, which goes through pretty quickly as well. And once that is done, we have boot and the cache image. And bam. And I forgot to mention, and it's already a bit late, but hopefully someone, you probably picked up on it. If you also have a custom kernel such as Elemental X, you want to make sure you flash that, the latest one as well, to make sure it's compatible with this um, for the latest build of Android N. So right now it's installing SuperSU, patching the boot image, and I think it was said something about recovery image. So our phone's going to reboot now, and it should reboot back into the MPD90G. Well, we'll have a look at this is a pretty cool Easter egg I read about, and like, to so something to do with cats. And we're back here. We're going to press OK, and we're going to unlock. We're going to enter our pattern, and we shall see the MPD 90G. And as you can see, it also changed to 7.0 instead of N, unless I missed that the first time. They still have that weird comma thing when you're doing Australian English, I think. Which is, I don't know, that's just weird. Anyway, let's have a look at the Easter egg real quick. I know this is long enough and you probably don't need to see this part if you don't want to. Uh, how, how to go again? This. And we got our we got nicer colors here now. And apparently you can see a little cat. And then if you press it again, no cat. And then I think, no connection, can't download, attach, oh yeah. Let me turn on the internet and we'll do it. Little cat, and then no cat. And I think it should download something. Maybe, maybe not. And we go here, I think we hit edit. I don't know, it was, it was pretty cool when I saw it on the internet. Unless I'm missing something. Oh well, I might make another video about it when I see it. Oh no, there it is. So we can see this little cap thing that says question, question, question mark, Android East Egg. And it's very similar to the Neko Atsumi, I think. That's how you say it. I'm gonna put it up here. Get back. Empty dish and we can put in, let's put in some chicken because I love me some chicken. Okay, so basically I think you put it on and then you wait for cats to come. And I don't know how it notifies you, but you might be able to see it in there. But anyway, it's very similar to this game, if you don't know what I'm talking about. And basically you, you put down toys and stuff for cats to waltz up to your backyard. So you get a beach ball and you get a ball and all that, and then... Yeah, you get cats. We'll just exit that. So assumingly over time, either this will disappear and then, oh, you can, okay, we can tap and hold. That just looks blank. 
I think that's when cats come, they appear up in here or something. And yeah, I'm just babbling on. But that's cool, I think there's a new animation for sliding in between. You can see how the dot changes to a line. No, that's pretty nice, that's pretty cool. And I think I'll leave it at that. So that's it guys, that's how you update your Nexus 6P rooted of course. Hey, oh wait, I didn't check if it was rooted. Well, it's updated. We have Super SU and it's still alive. And I think you saw um, a prompt allowing Lucky Patcher to get interactive access. So that's done its job. We can have a look at this safety net test. It should pass. Ta-da. And of course, Android Pay works. Well, I'm not sure if it you get past the screen. Because it's only come to Australia quite recently. So I can add a card and whatnot. And do all that fancy stuff. So thank you guys for watching this uh, video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. But if you have any like app sort of problems, those questions aren't for me really. But anyway, if you have any more uh, requests for me to do, please feel free to leave it down in the comments below. I'll try to get to them you know, relatively soon, but hopefully it won't be too long. I won't have to keep you waiting too long. So of course, I will have more videos when Android 7.0 comes out. Uh, fully as a public release well it is public but you know what I mean and I'll have tutorials of both from coming from Marshmallow and from this build of Android so thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one